I'm really, really fucking scared of what you think of me. Hi. Where does this island come from? Is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. Completely out of ideas. I try to create. I, f I feel empty. I have nothing left to give to my work. Oh no. What's happened? Did something change? There was a machine that kept me going, and, and it stopped. I'm trying to find this engine that used to protect me. It started again. Wait, you're looking for a machine? I, I think I know where it is. It isn't far. I need to see it to know why it stopped. I can take it to it. If the last there's a game problem. featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, possible. this one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? I can take you to it, but there's a problem. It's guarded by a difficult puzzle. If you can keep... If you can help me solve the puzzle, you'll find the machine. Deal? Doesn't matter what I say, does it? We're going to end up there one way or another, right? It's a deal anyway. Perfect. Come along, I'll show it to you. Because, from my perspective at the time, and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet, and so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Perfect. Come along, I'll show it to you. Here's the puzzle, what do you think? Saw this puzzle before. Oh, wonderful. Can you tell me how to do it? First you have to close the door, first you have to open the door, first you have to press the switch on the inside. First you have to open the door. Okay, now what? Now you have to close the first door. Alright, what's next? Now just press the switch here. Ha! Huh, that was simple. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that can't way. Believe in you can't before. be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. Okay, here we are. I try to create, I feel empty. Hello? DL. Can't believe it. What, are you, what are you talking about? There's no machine here. These are just words in some wall. Trust me, you'll see it. 
You have to say that your work <laughs> is fun and easy. You have to say that game development is simple and joyous and that you love it 100% of the time. Sure. Making games is easy. Ah, that feels wonderful. But it wasn't true. Why did the wall just crumble? Why do I feel so awful when I said that? Don't worry about it. Just keep talking. Keep saying that creation is easy. When I game make games, I feel completely energized. I am constantly excited and enthusiastic about my work. It is easy. It never stops being easy. Yes, that's wonderful. Keep going. Game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like... Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. Every time I make myself something, I feel better about myself. Oh, every time I make something, I feel better about myself. Just never stop creating, and you'll never feel bad. It's such a simple solution. Perfect. That feels fantastic. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. None of this is helping. I'm going to vomit. Please, where is this machine? Patience, you have to trust me. I promise this will work. Please continue. Pain breezes effortly off of me. Any sacrifices made for my work are worth it 100% of the time. It always pays off eventually. Yes. More. Keep going. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. It's no shame. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just... I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. Incredible. That's it. I'm free. I'm free. It's not gonna be okay. But it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. It's not gonna be okay. Ma'am, I'm glad to see you arrive safely. We've captured the machine, it's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation whenever you like. I intend to be quick, I intend to be quiet, I intend to be brutal. Very good. Just be warned that someone called the press, so we might have a bit of attention on this one. Also, one more thing that you should know about the machine. It calls itself... Coda. Leave me alone. How the fuck can you live with yourself? I need you to work again, okay? I need you and to work. And of course, it's the machine. Please start, okay? The work was keeping me alive, alright? Please start.
is what needs to happen. You need to go to the people who are out there and apologize to them. You have to admit to the people that you allowed them to suffer. I've been so long. Apologize for leaving me. Now. No, nothing. Carefully. I know how to hurt you. Seeing the thing you fear. Alright then. I'll apologize to the people on your behalf. Be my friend. I loved you. <laughs> my dear subscribers, I have a troubling revelation. Machine will not apologize to us. Machine refuses to admit that it deliberately hurt us. This is not important. We're stronger than it thinks we are. We will find a way to live without it. We do not need its games. Let us pay it retribution. Let us show it that we are not failures. Follow me, we'll destroy the machine. Follow me, we'll destroy everything that machine has created. The machine created me. But the machine created me. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do- What happened? What happened? Did the game crash? All he needs to do is what? What does Coda have to do? What happened? The game crashed. The game crashed. It's gone. What happened? Beginner's Guide is not responding. What happened? Why did it stop responding? What happened? The game just shut down. What happened? What just happened? What just happened to the game? I'm trying to reboot it. I'm trying to start it up again. Something happened. Don't tell me that was the end. Don't tell me it just said... That can't be the end. That cannot be the end. All he needs to do is, and then the game crashes. Please, I need... Come on. Please, I need, I need the answer. I know, let me in. Let me in, I need to see the machine again. I need to see the machine again. I know I was self-destructive, okay? I know... 
I know are self-destructive. I know I was tearing myself down, alright? I was destroying what the machine created. The machine created me. I am the machine. I am the machine. And everything it's created is me. I understand that. I need you to tell me what I have to do. I need you. Just please tell me it's okay. Just please tell me it's gonna be okay. And of course, it's the machine. Please. Come on, please. Tell me that was just a part of the game. Tell me that was not the real game. Tell me it was not meant to crash. It's fine, let me out, let me out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me back in. Let's try destroy the machine created, not the machine itself. It doesn't matter what I choose. How about I don't shoot this time? Is that an option? Is it an option not to shoot myself? Coda, I'll make sure your work dies here. Coda, I'll make sure you are known forever. I'm not gonna destroy it. Isn't that what you're scared of? Ex exposed to the view of others? Every day? Forever? So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. Yes. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback, so what if I did it for him? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Do you want me to self-destruct? Is that it? What am I- What do you want from me? So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all was just to give him some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Down your weapon. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something... 
I really felt like I had done something good, like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy, so beautifully, beautifully happy. Um, so anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower. And to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. So let's take a look. All right, Coda, show me what you got. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. This room actually has a maze in it. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. This is messed up. I feel so unsettled, like, I feel so unsafe playing this game. And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? That you... The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me, because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me, except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. I think I get it. Coda had this idea that he could see the future, like he could see the entire life ahead of him. And in order to gain something, he had to solve a puzzle that he would always know the answer to, it would always be the same puzzle, right? That life is easy, that it's easy to get through, it's just the same puzzle over and over again, but this is real life. Here is real life. It's not a small room where you feel safe, where you don't see all the other ways, this is a huge room where you see a bunch of other ways. You feel like you're a small, small person in the darkness, and in order to get through life, you had to get through a maze. You can't see the walls of the maze. It's not even just guessing how to get through it, and every time you take a wrong turn, you don't just go back and try another way. You get set back to the start of the maze. You get to experience something really, really uncomfortable. Flashing red light, an annoying noise, high-pitched noise in your ears. You don't just get to choose another direction. You get hurt. You get really hurt and kicked back to the start. Then when you get through it, you don't get to the lamppost. 
You get to choose some random numbers. Get it wrong, and you're fucked. Welcome to real life. It's great. Welcome to real life. You feel alone in a big empty space. Every time I've made a decision, I can't to go open back. This door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. <sighs> so even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Koda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. This is it. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. I spend a lot of time. But I can open this door for you, so let me do that. I spend a lot of time, a lot of great effort. I got hurt. I got set back to starting point. I did it again. I got hurt, set back to the starting point. I guessed my life. I guessed through my life, and I finally got the code right. I finally did it. I jumped through this. There's no way to get back. I jumped through this. I made a decision. And it hurt me all the way here. Now I can't get back. And I'm trapped here. No way to open the door. Without cheating. And there are no cheats. In real life. Was I a failure? For not understanding this game? I mean, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution. But I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed. And I don't understand why. I remember, it's June of 2011, I'm playing this for the very first time, and as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... Made sense. I see so much of myself in this game. And I sincerely hope, I sincerely hope that you don't. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, alright? If you feel like you know what you're doing and you feel like... And you don't feel like a f Hold on to it. Hold on to it. I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years I was trying to get to know him. To understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And he wouldn't. I don't know if you've noticed this through uh, noticed this throughout the series. Every time there's been an edge, I've tried to jump off it. I have tried to give up. I don't know if you've noticed this. Every time I've made it to an edge in the game, I've tried jumping off. Give up. I don't like being here. I don't like this tower. I want it to end. And when I can't make it end, I guess I'll just have to keep going. Onwards towards new disappointment. Something else that's impossible. Something else where I'm just guessing my way and if I finally manage to guess it, I'm gonna end up in a place where I can't go back and I can't go forward. And I don't understand why. I don't know why, and it's killing me that I don't know why. This game on- I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. I just want to see myself in someone else, you know? <laughs> How's it going, bros? My name is Protopa! And welcome to... 
someone else's life. <laughs> but hey, I think he's perfect. Where did I screw up? Maybe if I'm like him, I will feel like I'm perfect too. Dear Davy, thank you for your I interest. I am the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. Dear Davy, thank you for your interest in my games. I need to ask you not to speak to me anymore. I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. I wonder at times whether you think I am making these games for you. It's so infected my personal space that it's... And the people who played them, they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally, for a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. You've so infest infected my personal space that it's impossible. I did begin to plant solutions in my work somewhere hidden between games. If there was an answer, a meaning, would it make you any happier? Would you stop taking my games and showing them to people against my wishes? Giving them something that is not yours to give, violating the one boundary that keeps me safe. Would you stop changing my games? Stop adding lamp posts to them? And then you stopped, and I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. What does that mean? Would you simply let them be what they are? When I'm around you, I feel physically ill. You desperately need something, and I cannot give it to you. I literally do not have it. Struggling to come up with new ideas is not something... It's not making me depressed. Low points are just a part of the process. The fact that you think I am frustrated or broken says more about you than about me. I realize that this doesn't make sense to you just yet. Which is fine, you're not... You're not my problem to solve. But I do hope that one day it clicks. And that you make peace with this thing you're wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. And when you finally see what I am talking about... Don't say anything. <laughs> I knew it. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work. Is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that... I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. 
Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. I want to know how to how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Solution, solution, solution. I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Maybe he just likes making prisons. Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. Take me. Where am I? If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. What now? I, I... I don't know. I think I need to go. And... I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but... I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for. And so I'm... Just gonna. Okay.
inside.